a lot of people come to visit our community because of the environment, because they feel welcome, because they don't feel judged, because it has a, um, an air about it that you want to get outside and do something. The Glen Helen, John Ryan State Park, the bike path. Oh, I love the bike path. Downtown, we have like a bunch of coffee shops and stuff and all of it just like feels like a community and I know I spend a lot of my time downtown. You go into the Emporium in any mid-morning and there's people there talking about the issues. I think it starts with um, conversation and that's what the 365 group is doing around race. I'm a member of the Young People of Color in town, which is like through the 365 project, and they do a lot of like open um, forums where they, well, a lot of times they'll invite, you know, the elementary school kids, the middle school kids, and the high school kids to kind of talk with adults about what issues they're seeing in town to get more of opinions from the younger kids, because you might not hear it as much. And I think it makes kids feel um, like they have somewhere or someone to talk to with other people about race, about um, just community altogether, like it doesn't only have to be about race. Our churches and our communities are getting older, but we are meeting those challenges with boldness, you know. We, we are getting trained on being a dementia-friendly village. I teach a class, a Silver Seekers class, but it's open to any Yellow Springs Senior Center member. Because I was doing that, uh, Karen Wolford, their director, asked me if I would help them with a flash mob to celebrate Senior Health and Fitness Day. That was a fun activity. We involved the Community Children's Center to dance with us, and that was a joy. I don't want for one minute to, to, to um, have people think that, oh, this is utopia, because it's not. It's what we're doing to change what's not right, to make it a healthy environment um, for all. A couple of years ago, uh, we had a New Year's Eve celebration and uh, it was broken up by our, you know, the, the local police department. People were very upset with the police department because they were not using their power, right? We're such a small community, like, when we see the police officers downtown, we should be able to say, hey, how are you? How's your family? Like, stuff like that. And it just wasn't like that anymore. We talked to the um, police department. It was a long process of like, talking to them, getting more information from them about what happened and how they feel. And then we just had like, um, games and stuff like that, that we had at the high school and the gym. We really wanted to have a, a village response around, um, uh, around finding a solution. And I think that's really important. Um, that is what uh, deliberative democracy is, is all about, is you know, people coming together within their democracy and, and really figuring out together. We as a village here talk about it, and I think that's, uh, part of a healthy community. You know, being, feeling safe when you want to talk. That way we get to look through everyone else's lenses and not just our own. That is priceless.